Hello there, and welcome to the Trials vs Guide to the Rubies, Rebalance, Hidden Weapons and Easter Eggs in Halo 3. First up, we have the Combat Evolved Pistol, found in place of the Blind Skull on Sierra 117, on this rocky outcrop. It can also be found on the final mission in place of the Mythic Skull, when we return to Halo. The pistol is introduced to this mod just as we remember it from Combat Evolved in all of its glory. As we can see, it has a 12 round magazine, the 2x scope, as well as its classic style stopping power. This pistol is accurate and is excellent against the flood, as we can see demonstrated here. The pistol is ideal for sniping grunts and also any other unshielded enemies that we come across. Next up we have the Halo Reach style DMR. This rifle is found in the place of the Iron Skull near the end of Sierra 117. You can also find the DMR on the mission The Covenant instead of the Thunderstorm Skull. The DMR uses the Battle Rifle model in this mod, but functions just the same as the DMR of Reach and later games. We now come to the Halo CE Assault Rifle, found where we see the Black Eye Skull on the Crow's Nest, atop the pipe. You can also find it in the spot of the Cowbell Skull on the Ark. The Assault Rifle features the CE 60 round magazine and features a faster fire rate than this mod's AR. It does not, however, have a scope. It's ideal for melting shields. Or groups of squishy grunts. Where we would normally find Grunt Birthday, we can also pick up the Halo 2 Brute Plasma Rifle. The Brute Plasma Rifle starts off slow and then moves to rapid fire. Its model offer the one from Halo 2 and the Halo 2 Ruby's Rebalanced Brute Rifle. The burst shot is the mod's Halo 3 Brute Rifle. This Easter Egg Brute Rifle can be dual wielded, pairing well with another Brute Infantry staple or anything else that comes to hand. Another callback from CE is the battery powered fuel rod found on the Storm and also on the Cortana mission to High Charity. It's powerful and is great for killing enemies or for destroying vehicles and any other destructible items that we find in the game. The Combat Evolved Shotgun can also be picked up on Cortana. It has an enlarged clip and far greater stopping power and range, as we shall see demonstrated. It's also got green lights instead of blue so you can differentiate between the two.
it's another great flood killer as well. If you're not quite having fun yet, look for the scarab gun on the Ark, found above where we encountered the famine skull. It's a little bit tricky to pick up though, so uh, bear that in mind. As we can expect from a scarab gun, it's very powerful. And glowy. On Savo Highway, don't forget to pick up the CE Sniper Rifle, found in a trench in place of the Tough Luck Skull. It's powerful and ha has a few more shots in it than the standard Halo 3 Sniper Rifle. Moving on to easter eggs, we have an addition of an Angie sword in Crow's Nest, found where a few familiar voices are arguing through a door. On the mission Halo, you can also find a Banshee atop the control room walkway, a nod to Combat Evolved, and helpful for making it off the ring, if Rob can flip up the right way that is. See that doorway further on? Get to it. Again, on the final mission, you can find a poor, lost grunt with a bit of a foul mouth. That cruelty aside, you'll find an unlimited supply of pink mist giving needles. Pity there's not much of a level left to use it in. And that explosive content concludes our guide. Thank you for watching. I've been Alex and you've been watching Rob. Join us for more on Twitch at twitch.tv slash trialsverses.